guys. This just came out today. Oh, we've, we've actually had a few um, Age of Calamity videos come out in between the time that I last did a trailer review. This one looks really cool because as you can see, it's called Unleashing the Divine Beast. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, oh my god. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Oh, the impa- that's been declared as impa now. Pura. Robbie. The researcher's powers never give up. Above all else, Rome. Rome. Is of the utmost importance. Oh my god. Okay, we got some combat. Mepha! Ravioli! Zelda. This whole stuff is, has already been come out on trailers, I believe. So we got Koga, who's got a voice actor now. I love Koga. He's hilarious. We got some Yiga. We got this guy. I've seen this guy, or lady. She, we don't know who they are. They're going to be a new villain, I think. Ravioli. This is new content now, I think. I love you, Ravioli. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, we got Van Do we get to pilot? Oh, we get to pilot! Mm. Naboris. Oh, damn, Naboris. Oh my god, this looks so cool. Ruta. And Rudania. Oh my god, I am so excited, man! <laughs> oh, that's some proper balancing skills there. Oh, we get some. Oh, we get lasers. Fire up your lasers. Guys. Oh my god, is it. <gasps> Demo available now! Lucky Ladle. I've got the Lucky Ladle. Because I pre-ordered it. And I've got that as well because I played uh, Breath of the Wild, obviously. Is there anything else? No. Guys, that was insane. Uh, I'm going to skip the first bit up until we see the guys on the cliff. Because everything before that is pre... Well, is, is kind of old now. I'm gonna talk about this person. There's so many theories on who this person is. Um, one in particular being the fortune teller that we hear in a few of the diaries, which you know it could be possible because they've got like the Gerudo symbol. They've got like the like. Uh, is that no? That's not Shika. That is the Gerudo. Sorry. Um, but they've got like this is a little bit out there. But if you look at input, this is really out there. Look like at Impa from Skyrim Sword. Impa's got that braid going down the face. And I don't know. That that braid's there. And it's kind of got like the Sheikah eye as well. So I'm, I'm definitely not saying that it's Impa. Like it's definitely not Impa because we know what Impa looks like. But it's just got that iconic kind of Sheikah braid at the, at the front. But then again, if you look at the back of the character, they've got the Gerudo sign there. So, and they're talking to the Yiga. That's like, who is this person? But yeah, the I think the key theory for who this is, is the, the fortune teller. Because the fortune teller was kind of like an antagonist in Breath of the Wild that you just didn't see. And they've got a, a bit of a Shika tech going on here. Go to, to these guys on the cliff. So we got like an eagle. And we've got the four champ or the five champions, sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting to include Link. I apologize then. Have they been delegated champions here though? They haven't. So I reckon Oh, we got this little guy. I really need we need a name for this guy. Like seriously, Nintendo. Can we please get a name for him? So these guys haven't well, they've probably just been delegated the champions. They just haven't got their champion tunics and stuff yet. Because Link's still in the, the knight's armor. But Bosa doesn't have it around her waist. 
Mifa doesn't have it over her shoulder and neither does Daruk. And Ravioli doesn't have it around his neck. So they, they've probably only just been delegated the champions at this point. It's interesting how we've already got this guy here. I'm just wondering where this is. We've got like a big cherry tree or something here. Which kind of reminds me of the Lost Woods. We got, yeah, it is the Lost Woods because we see like dead trees and stuff. Well, the Coric Forest, sorry. We got like dead trees and stuff. So this is on um, Death Mountain overlooking the Coric Forest. So we've got Meadow here and we've got these things which are the cannons that we have to take out when we go and we try and board onto Van Meadow in Breath of the Wild. So these must be like the the weapons, I guess, that Meadow has. Because you saw that Naboris just charged things. <laughs> um, Ruta had the ice beams and the control over ice and... I don't know what Rutani was doing to be honest. Let's just, <laughs> just leave her there. So, where is. This is Death Mountain. This is Death Mountain again. So, we definitely see the Divine Beasts in other places other than their areas that we find them on in Breath of the Wild. Because this is definitely Death Mountain. We got some trees down here, so I'm assuming this is either Kala or above the Cork Forest. Because there aren't any trees between Eldin and Zora's Domain. Not like that, I don't think. So this is definitely either a Kala or Cork Forest, I think. Right, so we see a few more here. We got a, a, a moblin camp. A cobblin camp, sorry. Right, so this is... <laughs> this doesn't help. He plays this. Okay, we got another uh, Bacolin camp over here as well, in the uh, in the hill. I I reckon this is. Um... <gasps> you know what this is? I forgot what this called. The the ruins that's completely shrouded in darkness. And here, this is just like shrouded in light. Ah, <gasps> maybe. <laughs> Sorry, no. Okay, so we got. Yeah, this is this is the army training grounds back here. This Hyrule Castle's right there, and if this is behind Hyrule Castle, then this is the uh, the training grounds. That's quite interesting. We got like a load of the Coblin camp. Oh well, these are those Alpha's camps, aren't they? And we got oh, yeah, the High Knots. We got some Lynels there. We got three Lynels. We got Gerudo uh, Highlands in the background. Oh, we got something. Oh, we got the the lionels are attacking. And we got a hyenox. We got these floating bacophis. <laughs> the octorox. <laughs> I love that. They're just they're just flying up on this like this little wooden platform, and they just got octorox holding them up. That's octo balloons or whatever. Oh, I forgot what they're called. But I I really like that. So these lionels are actually shooting uh, Van Meadow. We just got this Hinox here stuck in the in the, the Zarfus camp. That's pretty funny. So we got uh, Navoris here. The Navoris is that's definitely in the uh, the Gerudo desert. That's de that's definitely Gerudo. That's not the Yiga. That must be the cavern that leads up to the Yiga base. But this is just Navoris like completely trampling over it. There must be, there must have been like ruins going up to the Yika base. <laughs> it's just frogs fly. It looks very oriental, so I'm gonna say that it is some like gates or something that lead to the Yika base. Because most of the architecture in the Yika base is quite oriental, surprisingly. Even though the, the Yika base was actually originally built by the Gerudo. That's quite interesting. If this is the Yika base, that is. So, oh, these Ruta is completely taking out a guardian. Um, where would this be? I can't quite pinpoint this just from this screen. Zelda is in her prayer costume or outfit or whatever you call it. This must be after going to the um the Shrine of Power, probably, because the Shrine of Power is the closest to the Zora's Domain. If this is Zora's Domain, actually, this is Cobblestone. So this. 
could very be Akala. And because the Shrine of Power is in the Akala region, I'm saying that this is Akala, and she's just going from the, uh, the Shrine of Power. Ooh, timeline. I'm not getting any specific landmarks from this place, so I don't... Trees are kind of like Akala Zora's Domain-ish, so I'm going to say that this is around Zora's Domain. It's really sad that I remember what trees are in which region. <laughs> it's interesting seeing uh, Ruta outside of out, out of water, which is pretty cool. See the, the, the feet, the feet look really weird. We never actually see Ruta properly, properly outside of water. So yeah, that's pretty interesting if I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Finally see Ruta's feet! Yes, this is definitely Zora's to me. Look at all the goblins. <laughs> There's so many big goblins. This has got to be Zora's domain. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> we got the columns up here as well. I don't know how they managed up there, but hey. Oh wait, that's a rock. That's that's a rock. Just chilling there. Ah, oh, Bruta just yeeted those big goblins. <laughs> There's no more big goblins here. <laughs> he just yeeted them. Right. We got Rudani just yeeting some uh, guardians here. This is like footage from the f first trailer where we see Rudani just walking around. I'm not gonna lie, Rudania. I am very, very impressed that you've managed to balance your entire body on two spindly legs. That is impressive. <laughs> this is definitely Death Mountain. Gotta be Death Mountain because there's fire and lava everywhere. Gotta be Death Mountain. Is that... Are those Lizalfos or are those mobs? They look more like Lizalfos because of the colouring. Wow. He just yeeted those... whatever they are. And a, a skeleton. There's a lot of yeeting in this tra trailer. There's a lot of yeeting. Yeah, those... they're the Lizalfos. I can speak properly. Yeah. Lizalfos. So, Rudani is just getting out his fire and my laser. Look at him on his spindly legs! Like, extends his legs out. That's pretty cool. If you haven't watched my streams, I personally prefer Rudania's design over the other three. I actually like Rudania's design. And just seeing it like this looks really cool. About how much detail they put, they've put into his design. That's pretty cool. So they're all using their lasers, so I'm just wondering what they're, they're shooting. Because the only time you ever actually see them firing their lasers is at the end of Breath of the Wild when they're yeeting the Hyrule Castle. I'm wondering what they're shooting. Are these are their big lasers. The ones that they use to um, take down Ganondorf's... Not Ganondorf, Ganon's health at the end of Breath of the Wild. Like, these are the big lasers. Like, we saw Meadow earlier with the little lasers, but these are big boys. I wonder where Meadow is, because when Meadow takes its shot with the big laser, it has it was well, I don't know if it has to be, but we see it perched somewhere. And if you if you look at here, it looks like it's perched because its head is forward, but its body is facing down. There's like architecture here, so I'm just like wondering where this could be. Maybe this is a Kala or Hateno Fort. The only three places that would tend to have this kind of architecture like this would be Akala, Hyrule Castle, or Hateno Fort. They are the three places that come to mind. I'm just really interested in what they're firing at. And then we've got the ending. Guys, demo available now. I want to play it. <laughs> Guys, like, I am so excited for Age of Clarity. Because it's been so long since a, a new, new Zelda game came out. Like, Link's Awakening came out, like, a year or two years ago. But that's just a remake. This is a new game. A never-before-seen game. So, I was really, really excited for this. Are we going to see this guy? I, we need a name for this guy. Please, Nintendo. We need, we need a name for him. Like, please, please name him. That is my, my trailer reaction for this one, like, and, and a little bit of trailer and else. Oh, 
I am so excited the fact that we get to play as the Divine Beasts. We get to properly control them as the champions. And it is going to be so, so good. I, I am ridiculously excited for this. It has been so long since I've been properly excited by a, um, a new game. And it's coming. I am so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this little reaction. I thoroughly enjoyed this trailer. I saw the title and I was just like, I need to do a video on this. It's going to be so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this little trailer reaction. I, I'm hoping that there's going to be some more trailers in the meantime between now and 20th of November. I mean, it's still quite a way off. So I'm going to say that we are going to get some more trailers and I'll keep an eye out for, for any more and maybe do some more trailer reactions in the future. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.